Uh, while every state becomes a border state under the Biden administration, the cities along the border have become the most overwhelmed by the migrant crisis. When America's chief White House correspondent Monica Page has the details. More than 2 million illegal immigrants have crossed the border so far this fiscal year, surpassing last year's record-breaking numbers as cities along the border declare a state of emergency. These overwhelming numbers have Border Patrol agents scrambling and say this crisis is showing no signs of slowing down. Joining me now is investigative immigration reporter Jenny Tayer, who is currently down there at the southern border. Jenny, I know you went down there fairly early. Uh, are you, you're in Eagle Pass, uh, I think, right? And are you, what have you been seeing? Yeah, so I'm here in Eagle Pass, Texas, where we've been seeing hundreds of migrants cross just this morning. Uh, we've been here since 4.30 a.m. And right behind me, actually, if you, uh, my cameraman here, Juan Mendoza, is going to pull over. Uh, you can see Border Patrol's cutting Texas uh, Governor Greg Abbott's uh, concertina wire that's been put up to block the crossings. They've been waiting here. They know Border Patrol is coming, and they're going to cut the wire right now. They're cutting it so that they can cross through. This group includes, uh, ¿de dónde son? Venezuela. Venezuela, Honduras, El Salvador, Colombia, and they're all here. Uh, they're going to different places. ¿A dónde vas en Estados Unidos? Texas. Texas. They're going to Texas. They're going to uh, Kansas. They're going to Oklahoma. That's what I've heard across the board here. So it's just chaos, absolute chaos. So once they get through, they, they get to a bus, they get to some kind of public transportation, and they'll just take them wherever they want to go? Is that what's happening? Border Patrol will process them and uh, release them based on their claims. And if they're released, which we know that most are, um, they'll be released to a local NGO, which will help set them up with their travel for where they're going to go into the interior of the country. And we know where that ends up, you know, in places like New York that's overwhelmed and other parts of these border states, to be frank. Um, it's all over the country, red and blue now. And of course, you've seen Democrats calling on some action from the Biden administration. But yeah, we have this issue here now that you can see that is happening in real time, that the state of Texas, a Republican, is at odds with a federal administration that's a Democrat. Jenny, under whose orders uh, are these Border Patrol agents cutting those wires there? Yeah, it comes from DHS. It comes from the federal government. And, you know, a lot of them are very frustrated. I talked to many of them. And right now my phone has just been constantly uh, coming through with messages from them just about how horrible it's been for them dealing with this because they want to be out on the front lines of the border right now. And unfortunately, because of this crisis, they are in the facilities processing people when they feel like, my gosh, remember the days where we would catch smugglers and and we would, uh, you know, seize a lot of drugs and contraband. So I'm sorry, this airboat's behind me. Um, but yeah, you can see here this group is amassing. It's, it's pretty big. Um, and it'll continue to grow as they cross through this wire area here. If you want to see, I can get up close a little bit. But yeah, this is the scene here wow. in Eagle from Texas. Jenny, what makes this time different from the previous trips that you've had down there at the southern border? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's just a constant flow right now. We're seeing so many people cross at once. Um, they know that this is kind of the time to come and they are worried. We've talked to a lot of them. They are really worried about the possibility of a change in presidential administration. Something that they've reacted to here that we've asked them about is that Trump is saying that he's going to carry out mass deportations like this country has never seen. Um, and they do say they're worried about it. Wow, Jenny, uh, I really appreciate you uh, showing us really in, in real time what is happening there at the southern border. I mean, you know, you, you're seeing it. I mean, you crossed through uh, with them uh, in, in mud and in, you know, the blazing heat and overnight, because you were there early in the morning, you saw them come through with young, very young yeah. children. I mean, they need water and they're sick. Uh, you know, you're speaking to them uh, and learning their stories. I mean, what, what are some of the other things that you've heard? from them yeah you know one of the things that they've been doing is uh losing faith in the biden administration's legal pathways that they've created for entry so that being cbp1 a phone app that allows them to cross legally at the port of entry a lot of them are just not using it no usa cbp1 no cbp1 no bueno yeah they're saying it's it's not a good app because 
what they've had to deal with is like month long waits. The app has so much demand for entry. So that's the situation here is that you have people that are still using this program, but the ones that are crossing illegally are like, we tried, we're not gonna stay in Mexico for three months. We're running out of money, it's dangerous. So we're crossing illegally. Wow, Jenny, Jenny, I really appreciate you showing us there. Uh, thank you so much, uh, and, and be safe, please, down at the southern border. I know it can get very, very dangerous. I'm sure you're you're seeing, you know, f cartel members and and other really uh, disturbing visuals out there. So we appreciate you joining us here on One American News. Thank you. We'd like to welcome you to our new home for uncensored news and hard-hitting talk shows. If you're tired of cable companies and social media giants chipping away at your most basic and important right, freedom of speech, by shadow banning, demonetizing, censoring, and policing every single one of your posts, then One America News on Locals is just what you've been looking for. Finally, you'll have the freedom to express your point of view and stay connected with like-minded fellow patriots. And the best part is, OAN on Locals is only five bucks a month. All of our credible, honest, unbiased reporting, ad-free talk shows, and exclusive content, all at the fraction of the cost of cable. So to watch, just click the Join button to get the news you can't get anywhere else.